Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Germany versus Japan. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Leon Goretzka in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack is Thomas Müller. And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, this looks to be a really Thank defensive lineup. They've certainly not come here to dominate possession. But if they defend with urgency, they're going to be difficult to break down, that's for sure. And now they get the ball rolling. Sané. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. <laughs> Taken short. Nabri, making sure it didn't get past him, and a penalty awarded, spot kick coming up. <laughs> this to make it 1-0. That's the end of that for now. Maeda. Well, the 2018 World Cup was a bit of a horror show from a German point of view. They didn't fare an awful lot better at the last European Championship, but many believe the time is now for this crop of players under Hansi Flick. How do you see it? Well, I think they are an interesting side. I've seen them play well and look like world beaters. I've also seen them look a very ordinary team. Mind you, being a Bundesliga coverer, Derek, you should want them to win, shouldn't you? Well, I'm always unbiased, but I do like to follow their fortunes. Let's just put it that way. Goretzka. Musiala. Well, if the form book has its say, every reason to believe Thomas Müller will make a big impact here, Stuart. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Must be! And a goal! An early boost for them, the first goal of the game. They're off and running. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Goal. So underway again here. One nil to score. Jamal Musiala. Nice looking pass. Now he must favour the cross. 
What's he going to do here? Muda. Difficult to stop him. Goretzka. Now Kimmy. Gnabry. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Sané. And back with Gnabry. Surely the equaliser. Vital intervention. Kamada. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Reading it well. Defensive excellence there. Hidamasa Morita. Chance to finish. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Delivering it. Good pressure high up the pitch. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Serge Gnabry. Jamal Musiala. Now with Kimi. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Not high quality defending. Leroy Zane. Good move in the making from Germany. Can he get them level? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, the corner to Germany. What can they do with this one? <whistles> Going short. Rudiger. Now Kimmy. Oh, that's a fine save. to a Kimi with the corner and the referee doesn't hesitate that is a spot kick and now to level the game the keeper going in the right direction and saving it. And played in by Kimmy. It might still be problematic. And putting his body on the line. Muda! And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, here it is again. And when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly, the ball's in the back of the net.
So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Good strength to keep the ball. Has eyes for goal. And pushed away to safety. Raum. Jamal Musiala. Serge Gnabry. Musiala. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This might be ideal for the counter. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Not much time to make up his mind. Joshua Kimmich. Goretzka has it now. Goretzka. On to Gnabry. Well, he really read that brilliantly. So two minutes of stoppage time here. He continues his run. Now he must favour the cross. Firing it towards goal. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. So the corner played into the box. And a struggle to get it away properly. Yoshida. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. All in all, he's been rather quiet. Captain Czech, Leroy Sané. Well, he's such a clever player in and around the box, but he just hasn't received it enough in those sort of areas. He's got to work harder to find space for himself, that's for sure. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Kimmich. Goretzka has it now. Musiala. Sané. Now with Goretzka. Surely, terrific piece of anticipation. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score. High echelon goalkeeping there. Can someone get on the end of this? Sound piece of goalkeeping. A spot on with that challenge. Musiala. Still passing it around with authority. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Zule. And they have possession again. Serge Gnabry. Musiala. Gnabry with it. Oh, he's given us away.
of danger here as he runs at them but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending well it was a foul but good use of advantage by the referee Sané interception to snuff out the danger Hidemasa Morita in possession Doan well no stopping him Leroy Zane this is Müller promising move from Germany Sané determined defending Nagatomo Daichi Kamada Morita Kamada and options in the centre over the touchline for a throw in And time for the change now. It needs an accurate cross. So a throw in here. allowed it to go over the touchline so a throw in Sané poor pass under no real pressure promising attack this and that pass could be troublesome well the post getting in the way there and problem solved for now. Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now, they just need to take one of these chances. And it should boost their confidence, but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. Could play it in. Mina Mina. Oh, that's a fine save. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Playing it short. He's using his strength to good effect. Endo. Putting his body on the line. Well, a really important piece of goalkeeping at this stage. Well, it's such a key moment in the game. That's a really good save. Both substitutes have been getting ready or come on at the same time. Corner kick played in. A decisive clearance it was. Mina Mina. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Five minutes of the 90 still to go. And the teams cannot be separated. And intercepts again. Goretzka. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Goretzka. On to Gundogan. He takes aim. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left. Surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here.
just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, but the keeper should do better in his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Well, not the best clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. They're not giving him any breathing room. And that will be that, the final whistle. And it is a tale of misery for them. Not the result they were hoping for. Stuart, your analysis. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. A performance you've got to conclude that he'll be proud of. I'm talking, of course, about Thomas Müller. Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork, but his general play was outstanding as well today. Very impressive.